Hi, I've been the factory here and I would like to talk to you about the couple different rail types, rail types we use on our Starlab CNC. So this is our engine rail and uh, as you can see it uses a, a linear truck. There's a pair of them there. Um, there'll be a cover over this and um, this is a 25 millimeter bolt from the back rail meaning it has no exposed bolt holes. The nice thing about this rail is that it doesn't have plastic covers to pick up dust and debris. This is the hardest rail to really integrate because it has tapped holes in the back of it. But we thought, what the hell? We can, let's do it. So we have custom made gear rack and we hold this uh, uh, rail in a precision way that the pitch line of the gear rack is perfectly parallel with the pitch line of the rail. All our rails are like that. Whether it's these rails to the gear rack that is hand indicated, or uh, these side rails, whether they're the black rail or uh, this uh, bolt from the back linear rail. Now, the reason for this is so we can rigid mount our motor reduction units. When you rigid mount your motor reduction unit, you don't have a spring to give up position. So if you're doing a, a sharp corner or you're traveling around a, a sharp arc under an optical comparator, we know that those um, um, accuracies are held with the rigid mount parallel uh, gear. The alternative would be to simply slap on a piece of gear rack or weld it on, use a spring um, tensioner to, to spring load the pinion in, or use an air cylinder of some type. The, the problem is if, if we put too much pounds of pressure on the pinion, the pinion's gonna wear fast um, if we do that. Uh, and also, um, even though it's a, it's a quick method of building a machine, it certainly um, doesn't offer the accuracy that this kind of system offers. So we have this type of system that uses this um, you know, silver rail bolted from the back through the gear rack in the gear rack. And this is what you'd find on a, on a more industrial type machine. Um, maybe some of the, the higher definition, uh, higher density gas mix console plasma machines. And this gives us a, a really good accuracy and repeatability with the machine doing it this way without springs. Springs aren't, aren't all bad, uh, um, to hold the motor reduction units in, but they certainly do not compare, um, to a system like this. Now let's move over um, to one of these machines where we have the pitch line of the gear rack is held to the bottom of the linear rail. And what this does is it guarantees that this is perfectly planar with this linear rail. This is a special linear rail uh, made in South Korea. Um, and this has spring-loaded oil-filled wipers on it and that wipes this rail and keeps it clean now again you know we're not we're, we're using a rigid mount motor system to be able to integrate the pinion into the gear rack so the the big large gear rack um, being held to this um, must have a perfect pitch line and uh, that's really important to be able to use this uh, style of, of motor reduction system to the gear rack without any loss of positional accuracy.